Ecamm software secrets that you didn't know about. It's going to make your videos and your live streams and your Zoom calls look more professional and make it even easier for you to create. Whether you're new to Ecamm or are an Ecamm pro, this list of tricks is your very new best friend. I'm Luria Petrucci. I help busy entrepreneurs like you create better videos by choosing the right video gear and software, show up confidently on camera, and get out of your own way so that you can create authentically and live boldly. Let's dig Again. Number one, copy and paste styles. This first one is a huge time saver. Let's say that you're working on some new interview scenes and you have your camera overlays arranged exactly how you want them, but then you decide you wanna add some borders or maybe rounded corners or shadows or maybe all three. Now you could go in manually and change the settings for each individual overlay, but that is a major hassle because you might need to change multiple settings and chances are you'll either forget some or make the wrong adjustments and your overlays are gonna look inconsistent. You could also make the changes on one overlay and then duplicate it, but then you would need to reposition everything, change the video sources, and delete the old versions. But here is what the pros do. Make the changes on one overlay and one only. Then right-click on that overlay and select Copy. Then you're gonna hover over your other overlays and select Paste Settings. That is it. Now all of your overlays are gonna have the exact same style, and even better, this works across different overlay types and different scenes, which is awesome. Even if you only want to change a single style, like the color of your border, for example, you're gonna be so glad you know about this feature. Number two, temporarily disable auto alignment. If you've been using Ecamm, you've probably noticed that when you move or resize overlays in a scene, they automatically snap or stick to each other in various default guides located around the window, which is super helpful for lining different elements up with each other. But there are times when you don't want this to happen because something is snapping or sticking to the wrong overlay or guide. And sometimes what looks like the edge of an overlay isn't the actual edge. Instead of going into your preferences, turning auto alignment off, adjusting your overlay, and then going back into your preferences to turn it back on again, because annoying, all you gotta do is simply hold down the command key on your keyboard to temporarily disable it. Here's an example. I wanna extend this main bar to match the smaller bar below, but as you can see, the edge snaps to the wrong part. And if I hold down command, I can temporarily disable the snapping itself and line the edge edges up by eye. Number three, drag and drop a website URL. So one of the coolest things you can do with widget overlays in Ecamm is display a website. Now it can be quicker, easier than setting up a whole screen share with a browser, especially if you only have a single screen and it looks cleaner because you don't have to actually have the usual browser interface showing like bookmark bar and the buttons and all of the different things that are in your browser. Now what most people do is manually add a widget overlay to a scene, give it a name, copy and paste the address of the website and adjust the size. But why do all of that when you can just drag and drop any URL straight from the address bar of your browser into your scene? Oh, and don't forget that first tip because you can use the copy and paste style feature to quickly apply some styling here. I can copy the style from my camera and paste it onto this new widget overlay. Number four, use shape overlays as guides or spacers. The shape overlays feature can be used in all kinds of creative ways, but did you know know that you can also use them as guides and spacers to build out scenes. One of the best use cases for this is when you want to create a layout with multiple camera overlays. You could just use the default outer guides, but what if you want a bigger margin, right? So here's how it works. Add a new rectangular shape overlay. Your shape is going to probably look completely different to mine because it's going to be based on whatever settings you used on the last time you added one. Now you're gonna set the fill color to any solid color that's not going to blend in with your background. For this, I'm gonna use bright green. And then turn off any borders or rounded corners. 
Use this first shape to set the margin down the left edge of your scene. Now what you want to do is duplicate that overlay and place the copy down the right. And this is going to ensure that you have equal spacing on either side, which just makes your scenes look more professional. It's the little touches that people don't do that makes when you do it all the difference. Now all you need to do is align the edges of your camera or your screen share overlays to these guides. And once your layout is done, just hide them. It's a good idea to keep at least one of these guides handy so you don't have to keep creating them. And remember, you aren't limited to just using them to set your margins. They can be used wherever and whenever you want consistent spacing or alignment between different elements in your scenes. By the way, this secret comes courtesy of the magical Mr. Paul Dixon. He uses it to create the customizable Ecamm templates on our store. Here, you're gonna find customizable templates for the fastest and easiest way to get pro looking graphics without you wasting precious time trying to reinvent the wheel. These templates can be used as is, just double click, load, and you are ready to rock and roll. Or you can easily change and add your own branded colors and be ready to go quickly. We even have animated overlays like these fun emoji, trivia, and lots more to create more engagement with your viewers. And I have a special discount code for you. Ecamm Secrets will get you 20% off your next order. Click the link and see the details in the description. Number five, crop overlays. Sometimes when you add an overlay to a scene, it's useful to be able to crop it down so only a portion of that is visible. This could be to draw attention to something in a photo. Maybe it's part of an app interface that you want to hide when screen sharing to show a small portion of a web page brought in as a widget or even just to make something fit better in a layout. All you need to do to crop an overlay is hold down the Option or the Alt key on your keyboard while dragging any edge. And you can still add borders and other effects to a cropped overlay. Now, if you need to remove the crop, just right click on the overlay and select Reset Crop. Now, this does not work on text and shape overlays, but anything else, you're good to go. Number six, locate an asset in a scene. Have you ever created a scene with an image or an animated overlay, and then you struggle to find the original asset on your Mac? Happens to me all the time. <laughs> Maybe you wanna use it for a new scene or something else. Next time this happens, try this. Hover over the asset in question in the main window. Right click and select Reveal in Finder. And if Reveal in Finder doesn't show as an option, which will happen if the image has been moved from the original location or deleted, you can actually drag a copy of the asset directly from the overlays window and onto your desktop. Number seven, take a photo. This next secret, super useful for creating promotional images and thumbnails for your content. Ecamm Live has a take a photo option under the recording menu. When you click on this option or use the shortcut Shift Command G, Ecamm Live will save a PNG of whatever is showing in your main window to the same folder as your recordings. Now the size and resolution of the image will be based on your stream size setting. So if you shoot in 1080p, your image will be 1920 by 1080. If you shoot in 4K, it will be 3840 by 2160. Here's an extra tip. Add the take a photo shortcut to your stream deck or even better, use a multi-action with a delay so that you have time to pose after you press the key. Number eight, placeholder comment overlays. Showing comments on screen is a great way to increase engagement, but how can you style and prepare your comments without actually going live and posting test comments? Well, the answer is you use a placeholder comment overlay. You can be forgiven for not knowing about these. They aren't available from the overlays window. They can only be found under the overlays menu. And as you can see, they are listed apart from the other overlay types. Extra bonus tip. Now, unlike regular comments, placeholder comments and overlays can be used to display comments in different positions in different scenes. You just need to add a new one for every scene that you plan on showing comments on. So a different placeholder comment per scene if you want it in a different location. Got it? 
Number nine, auto create scenes from images. This is a newer feature. Let's say you have a bunch of images and you wanna create a scene for each image. This could be an image based slide that you have exported from Keynote maybe, maybe a live show overlay for interviews, etc., etc. Instead of manually creating each scene, giving it a name and adding your images, you can actually select all of the images and drop them straight into the scenes panel. Wait a few seconds and Ecamm is going to add each image to a new scene and the scene name will be based on the file name itself. This is a huge time saver. Now it's your turn. What is your favorite secret Ecamm feature that should have been number 10? Share that in the comments and help each other out. Be a true community here. And hey, if you knew all of these that I shared, consider yourself a pro. Don't forget to use your secret code in the store for 20% off your next order. That link is in the description and I cannot wait to see what you create using these tips.